Hi neighbors. Welcome back to another video of Cooking with Neighbors. It is I, Jerry Ellen, and her trusty sidekick, Carrietta. Poor old girl. We're still going back and forth to the vets. Still some stuff happening. Trying to get her to, in to see a specialist and stuff. Cause her's got some pain. There, she's in some pain. And we don't know what's what has caused some problems that she has going on now. So she's gone blind in one eye and she's almost blind. She's got some sight left in the other, but, and she's hurting, but she's on some medication. We're hoping it's gonna help her. But anyway, let's get to the video. Uh, making blueberry grunt. Nova Scotia blueberry grunt is what I'm going to make. We're going to have it with our morning coffee and tea. Okay, I'm going to slide you over just a little bit. I'll be just a little bit. Come on, we'll get in there. Okay, so I'm going to do it in this saucepan. Uh, it's better to do in a saucepan on the stove, but I'm going to do it in this pan because I think that you'll be able to see it a lot better. Okay. Okay, I'm going to turn this on. Four cups of blueberries, okay? Nova Scotia is the blueberry capital of Canada, for those of you who don't know. And my friend John here, uh, our neighbor John here on YouTube, he likes blueberry grunt as well, and it's one of his favorites, so this video is, is for him and you all. Oh, for you all. We want one cup, four cups of blueberries. Yeah, Nova Scotia, they grow uh, really nice wild blueberries. They're so tasty. We used to pick them a lot growing up. Uh, this is one cup of water. And I gotta get some sugar, excuse moi. And I'm gonna put a half a cup of sugar. You can have a taste of your blueberries, and if they're not that sweet, you can add a bit more sugar, if you like. I like putting a little tiny bit of lemon juice. Brightens the berries a bit. Just to, I'm just gonna use like a couple of teaspoons. They're frozen. <laughs> I'll give them a mix in a second. Okay, I'm just doing this. You can sift it or, or if you want. This is for the dumplings. Uh, two cups of all-purpose flour here, okay? Yeah, we used to pick berries, blueberries, and then go selling them door to door. We pick one of these full for, and sell them $2. Uh, four teaspoons of baking powder. Run it this through there. One teaspoon of sugar. Half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to get some, uh, two tablespoons of shortening. I'm gonna wash my hands, one sec. I don't wanna burn my berries. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. Now, a quarter of a cup to a half a cup of milk, because we just want to make bring this together to form a dough. Sometimes we need the half a cup or more, and sometimes we don't. So it's Sunday morning here, and I like to get this video out to you. <laughs> Yeah. 
probably going to need it, I think. I'm use my hands. Oops, turn that down. I don't want to do it, need it too, too much. Kneading it gently. I don't want tough biscuits in there. Only took a little more than half a cup of water. I mean milk. You used Buttermilk, you could use whole milk, whatever milk you want. Carn uh, canned milk, evaporated milk. Ooh, that'd be good. Anyway, I want to uh, take this cover off for now. We want to put the biscuits. into, try to do them roughly the same size, just to make it like a ball, drop them in. They don't have to be pretty looking. This pan's going to work. So we're going to put the cover on. It's like uh, Nova Scotia's cobbler, isn't it? Blueberry cobbler. The cover on. I'm gonna put the timer on for about 15 minutes. Or for 15 minutes, we'll come back. And you don't take the cover off. You don't do any peeking. That's a no-no. You want the biscuits to fluff up right. We leave that grunt away. I believe that's where it's got its name. It makes a grunting sound under the cover there. How many of you have heard of this or had this? Let me know in the comments. So a lot of you have been here for a while and know my puppy and I know that you care about her so that's why I'm filling you in. Um, she has glaucoma and she has some sort of interior uh, UV lightus in her eyes. And anyway, it's a secondary condition, not a pro not, it's not primary. So, which means that something is causing it. So, she has some lumps and other things. So, they're checking those for cancer. And sometimes you don't find out the cause, apparently. So, but uh, she's on medication to relieve the pressure that's on her eyes right now, because it's very painful. And we took her back in and there was, the pressure did not go down at all. So, but we're continuing with the medication and some pain medication and uh, seeing uh, to, if we can get her into uh, ophthalmologists for dogs. And uh, there were think, vets that thinking that she may end up losing one or both of her eyes to relieve the pressure. So we don't know. We don't know yet.
in the past when I have made these, usually have them in a pot. But this seems to be working okay. The steam, woohoo! Some steam's escaping though. Uh, the steam cooks it up. The hot blueberries and the steam. You just want them a bit more than a simmer. <clears throat> and I know you're not supposed to peek with it on the stove, but if you think your blueberries are burning to the bottom of your pot, better check on it. Mm -hmm. Smells so good. Turned it off and just giving it a second because I don't want it to splash at me. See that? Doesn't that look so good? Wish you could see the nice color. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up. Oh yeah. It's a dawn. This is great with some ice cream or whipped cream. Cool whip. I'll just take, take a little, little old tasty poo over here. Put some blueberries on it. Still hot. My mom used to make this for us. It brings me back. Ma used to, after we picked some berries, we asked her to make it. Yeah. It's so good. It's really good. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you like, share, and subscribe. I know last uh, week I did uh, uh, Cape Breton oak uh, cakes. And I put some pictures of uh, Cape Breton and stuff, Nova Scotia and that on the screen, but I'm kind of uh, doing this uh, like very shortly before posting, so kind of thing. So I don't think I get that done. But next week, Graham picked the recipe out for next week, for next Sunday. What we're going to do. Mm, I'm just, I'm, I better go get Graham some of this and a cup of tea and go and enjoy. So good. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate the time that you have given me out of your day. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Peace, love, and God bless. And another lady that does traditional... Uh, dishes from the East Coast is Bonita at Bonita's Kitchen. I'll leave a link to her. I really like her. She's a nice lady. Bye.